Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher. Welcome to the Sweetwater Minute. This week on the Sweetwater Minute, let's check out the Radial Engineering Workhorse Cube and 500 Series Modules. Now, for those of you who may not know, 500 Series Modules are all the rage. And they're these small modules that are fitted into the chassis. There's a microphone preamp here, a compressor, and an equalizer. Now, a variety of different manufacturers make these 500 series modules, so you can mix and match them however you like to create the system that you want. You could have preamps from one manufacturer, EQs from another manufacturer, or you could have preamps from four or five different manufacturers, mount them into your chassis and have them instantly available. Now, the nice thing is they don't take up near as much space as a full-sized rack unit. They also tend to be a little less money so that when you uh, get them all installed in there, you've got a flexible system that you've chosen, and it provides the sounds, the tonal colorations, and the capabilities that you want in a compact chassis. So to begin, let's talk about the Workhorse Cube, and that's the blue enclosure that we have here from Radial Engineering. The Workhorse Cube holds three, uh, three modules, and there are, there are chassis available that hold a single module, two modules, eight modules. There are a variety of different chassis. The nice thing about this one is it holds three different modules, which is great for setting up a channel strip, and we're going to talk a little bit more about that. The Workhorse Cube, you can set it up with a handle the way I have this one set up here. You can also mount it into your desktop, either flush with the desktop or at an angle as well if you're using it mounted in the studio. The way I've got it set up, it's portable, it's my channel strip, I can grab it and go wherever I'm doing my recordings. Now the Workhorse Cube, or any chassis for that matter, provides the power for the modules and also around back, it provides the connections. So we've got XLR inputs, we've got XLR outputs, we've also got balanced TRS ins and outs in this particular case with the Workhorse Cube. The cool thing with this particular piece of gear is that it has some extra features. For example, we've got this Omniport. Now the Omniport is a proprietary jack, and if a manufacturer designs their 500 series module to take advantage of it, it can give them extra features. In this case, I've got a compressor installed. When I do that, the Omniport becomes a key input for the compressor, so it's a nice function to have available there. In addition to that, normally you'd have to jumper from one module to another if you wanted to create a channel strip. But in this case, we've actually got a switch that allows us to automatically feed internally by just flicking that switch, the signal that comes in the front goes through all three modules and then comes out the end. In addition to that, the workhorse has a link switch here. Now what that lets you do is combine two modules together in stereo. For example, if you've got two compressors, flick the link switch and instead of being two mono units, they're now one stereo unit. So the first module I have installed in the Workhorse Cube is a microphone preamp. This is the power pre, also made by Radial Engineering. It's a 55 dB uh, microphone preamp, has all the features you'd expect. There's a phase invert, there's a 15 dB pad, there's a high pass filter. It also has this shaping switch, so you can run through with linear tonality. You could add a little breathiness on top to open up a vocal. Or there's a, a punch setting that lets you thicken things up a little bit as well if you're doing like a female vocal uh, type recording. So it's a versatile preamp, but it's still nice and transparent, a lot of dynamics there. That's feeding into the Comet compressor from Radial Engineering. This is a, a surprisingly versatile compressor in a very small amount of space. Versatile because it also has a built-in limiter, and the limiter has two functions. You can set it up as a brick wall limiter when you're recording uh, into a digital system to prevent any overs, or you can actually flick it back this way. When you do that, you engage a clipper circuit so that you can add distortion, you can actually warm the signal up, add some harmonics into it. So it gives you a little bit of uh, control over the tonality as well. You can set up the, uh, the ratio here. So it's, it's a powerful compressor in a very small amount of space. It does does have the key input when you use the Omniport on the back of the Workhorse Cube, and you can chain two of them together in stereo as well in the Workhorse Cube. The third module I have installed is the Q3 Equalizer. Now this is a passive equalizer that actually uses coils, so it functions somewhat differently than other EQs do, and the controls function differently as well. The way that it works is each of the high, mid, and low bands have 12 different preset curves in them. So when, you set that, when you're turning it up, you're not necessarily changing the frequency or changing the amplitude. You're completely changing the shape, the amplitude, the, the slope, the entire way that the EQ is working. The cool thing about that is you can quickly dial through and hear a variety of different curves and find the one that works best for the source that you're working on. The high and the low bands are boost, so you can increase the gain there. The mid band is actually a cut only band. Um, and between the three of them, you can dial in an amazing variety of different sounds. According to radio, you can get 12,000 different EQ curves using the different settings that are available on these. There's also a shift switch associated with each band that changes the amplitude and the slope a bit as well. So a lot of flexibility there. It is a passive EQ, so there's a makeup gain control down at the bottom, so you can balance the input and the output levels however you like. When you purchase a Workhorse Cube, of course it comes unloaded, it's an empty chassis. It's very easy to install 500 series modules. You slide them in, there's a connector on the back that they made into, and then there are just two screws that hold them on the front. You can install a module in less than a minute, very simple to do. Power it up and it's ready to work. The 500 series has been such an exciting development in the audio world. There are so many different modules available, and I really like these three from Radial Engineering because they have a different take on things than some of the other similar units that might be out there. For example, the Coil EQ with the presets sounds very different than any other EQ on the market. 
market. Powerful modules, they sound great, they're affordable, and combining them together into a channel strip inside the Workhorse Cube is a great way to go. I'm Mitch Gallagher. Thanks for joining me for the Sweetwater Minute.